You're not wearing a tight pair of underwear out to dinner. She put her breasts just like this. Talk Soup, the show that keeps it real. I'm John Henson, a clever clown of some renown, ready to drench the next half hour with a bucket of mirth and a dollop of merriment. Boy, is it humid out oh, here in yeah. Southern California. The humidity Whoa. is just killing me, Tom. I got out of the shower and already I'm sweating. It's, it's really affecting me. I don't know what it is. I hope it cools off soon, because I can't take it much longer. Coming up on today's debacle, you'll meet a man who likes small breasts. Kathy Najimi bears her breasts. And why is Sally Jesse walking the streets? Now, she made a, just a quick moment of eye contact mm -hmm. with us. Wow. Whoa. We'll find out if she made a love connection later. <laughs> First up, you're about to see a clip of Mr. Jeroboam Springer paying a visit to HBO and Mr. Chris Rock. Here's a little inside scoop. Originally, Jerry planned to talk to Chris about supply-side economics, quantum physics, and the fascist politics of Benito Mussolini. That was a plan right up until the Star Report was released, and suddenly it was goodbye, Benito, hello, Tipperillo. I did politics for 10 years, and I loved it. And But no, I wouldn't uh, go... I mean, I don't want that ever to be a career. That's, right. that's something you do as a passion. You know, not not to make a living. If you if you try to make a living in politics, you're going to be dishonest. Right. You're going to say anything to get yourself elected. So uh, no, I'll make my you know politics. I'll still believe in and work at. But this this is my job. The it's show. It's your and job. And if you have, have a girl time. with a cigar, you want to be able to put it on the air. <laughs> Was it a Cuban cigar? I don't know. If it's a Cuban, they're going to try to get them on that too. That they are. <laughs> they are. They're going to try to get them on that. I actually too. heard that mentioned today. Get actually. The making a joke, but seriously. They're saying, well, that was contraband, you know. This is the most so. up thing. Is, it, is Monica, did Monica ever call you? Did you ever go through those calls? I'm the president. Mm. <laughs> 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 Let me get that call. <laughs> Thursday. Oh, you got Thursday? <laughs> you think Castro ever had an improper relationship with an intern? You think he did? I bet he did. You think he'd use a good cigar? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe he's like using a white owl or something like that. Senorita, I am exciting you with a Phillies blunt. You are experiencing pleasure with this foreign cigar, no? Then I will kill you. <laughs> oh, thank you, that was my Castro, everybody. Yeah, sure, whatever. The Beastie Boys will visit Chris Rock on Friday on a channel called HBO. Several years ago, the Beastie Boys hired a lawyer and fought for their right to party. The case is currently on appeal. Pam and David have been a cozy couple for 14 months. In fact, a proposal was offered, a ring was delivered, and a date was set. All seemed sunny in the land of Dave and Pam, but then a dark cloud. About five weeks before D-Day, Dave's feet got really chilly. I'm talking frostbite. So he canceled the nuptials and voila! His toesies got toasties again. Now it's Pam's turn to heat up. Here she is on Forgive or Forget addressing this hot button issue. David, take a look at this dress. This was your mother's wedding dress, the one I was supposed to wear on our wedding day. But you canceled our wedding five weeks before we were to walk down the aisle. Well, now I'm here to tell you I'm tired of playing house and I'm tired of living as if we're a married couple. It's time for you to make that commitment. I can't even believe that it's come to this. Now you force me into giving you this ultimatum. If we're not married by April the 26th, 1999, on April the 27th, my things will be packed and the dogs and I will be G-O-N-E gone on the next flight back to Texas. So if you decide to walk through that door, you'd better be ready to walk down the aisle. And I'm not talking the supermarket aisle. Say, Pam, those acting classes are really paying off. <laughs> hey, did you hear that, David? She's going to be G-O-N-E gone. And she's taking the D-O-G-S dogs, huh? Whoa. What are you going to D-O about it? Okay, Pam. Let's open the door. 
Thursdays, forgive or forget, Madeline and Bruce were engaged until Madeline became a stripper. An apology is flying. Will Bruce be lying? Mother love knows. Robin Hayden is a bird trainer from Bush Gardens down there in the Sunshine State of Florida. Robin has a macaw named King Tut who can perform some very unbird-like gymnastics. Let's all wallow on our couches while King Tut demonstrates these aviary acrobatics to Jay Leno. Now, what, what what can this guy do? Well, we have the swing over here. Does the swing? It swings around. Well, this takes a lot of energy right. for him to do this. A lot of, okay. uh, you know, strength and endurance. Now, so, what is he going to do? Well, he's going to swing back and forth. But to do that, mm -hmm. we're going to need um, the, the audience to yell and scream so he can go all the way around. You but need the audience help. to yell and scream. Help. Yeah, to get it started. Tonight show, Mad About You star Paul Reiser takes a seat next to Jay. Helen Hunt won an Emmy. Paul did not. Paul mad about her? Yeah. Stay in your seats, because I'll be back clickety-clack with my box of clips. You'll see Sally Jesse walking the streets, Conan's talking Oedipal sex, and coming up, what happened to Jerry Springer's dress code? of becoming stars. Yeah, I want to be a big star. But the competition is fierce. You've got to learn how to handle rejection. And Hollywood can be a rough town, especially when you're only nine years old. It's going to be okay. Follow the struggles of three young actors on their quest for big screen success. They gave you the part. <laughs> the making of a child star. The journey continues this Sunday at 7, Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Watch this show. Welcome to the Blue House. He's the bear who's singing and dancing his way into your family's heart. I sure do love to cha-cha-cha. With friends your children will fall in love with. And you make yourself a friend. And an adventurous spirit that makes learning exciting. It's a magnifying glass. So put a song in their hearts. Bring up the house. Tidy it up. Tidy it up. Bring up the house. Tidy it up. Friends and Neighbors is one of the year's best films rapes Roger Ebert. I just think we need to do it. When I'm making love. I bet you're tremendous in bed. Rolling Stone calls it the movie that will keep you talking right on through winter. Nobody gives me more flesh. I do not store a little sexual I tickets. can't stop thinking about the you. The New York Times says the two most significant American films to be released this summer are Saving Private Ryan and Your Friends and Neighbors. That's the disease. Yeah, that's terrible. Your Friends and Neighbors. Rated R. this evening between the 2 a.m. feeding and the 4 a.m. feeding. The Crossan family decided it was time for a little more space, and they knew just the address to start looking on the internet at Countrywide Home Loans. It's a place to find out exactly how much home you can afford, pre-qualify, and get a guaranteed interest rate. There are a lot of home pages on the internet. Ours might be the only one that can actually help you get a home. Countrywide. Easy. Really. This portion of E is brought to you by Countrywide Home Loans. For nearly 30 years, we've helped people get homes of their dreams. Welcome back to Talk Soup, the only show on cable that uses Activator. I'm John Henson. 
talk show host known as Mr. Jeremiah Springer has introduced so many memorable humanoids to the American public. Any effort to pick favorites would be a fool's errand. But several of Gerald's dedicated fans were up to the task. Anne, Lonnie, and Sean agreed that Adara, the woman who loves to be naked noon and nighty night night night, was their all-time favorite Springer specimen. Here's Adara in her birthday suit and boots. Please welcome Adara. doesn't matter what I ask, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty irrelevant to the show. Uh, what are you doing? What, what? I'm being me. <laughs> uh, this is how you normally walk around. As much as I can, yeah. Uh, I like to be naked. It's, it's... Yeah! Oh, finally, a nudist you don't mind looking at. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to be bronze, this woman. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you freaks, huh? Get thee to a Stairmaster. Go! <laughs> Thursday, Jerry Mander Springer will provide a form for Angie who claims that Mara Lee stole her fiancé Aaron. Sparks fly. Joshua is a young man with a dilemma. His girlfriend wants to beef up her chest with implants. Why? Well, all her girlfriends are doing it, and she wants to stay abreast. <laughs> Joshua wants to steer his gal pal away from the dangers of silicone, but what does he know? He's no doctor. She won't listen unless he's done some solid medical research. Bottom line, he better not sound like a boob. Come on, I'm two for two! That's why Josh is on the love line with Adam, Dr. Drew, Diane, and actress Holly Robinson Pete. Fellas, clip me. This is an insecurity that she has. Women are very competitive. Uh, I don't blame them. I, I, I couldn't imagine. Uh, I don't know what the male equivalent of this Venus is. Side. Yeah, you except for that, that, you're not wear. That's not really. You're not wearing a tight pair of underwear out uh, to dinner, uh, and and showing it off. <laughs> but the, but the deal is, as you can tell her this, there's starting to be. There's this backlash against uh -huh. uh, this uh, the breasts. When they were a novelty, mm, you know, right. some years ago, then people were into it. Now that everyone has it, there's this backlash against yeah. them. Oh, they got the stuff. soybean oil breast implants now. I saw, saw that on TV last night. Really? really? One of the things that obviously, I don't know if she has apprehensions because of the, the health risks that may or may not be involved, but now they have these soybean oil implants. Have you heard about no. those, Doug? I know they're trying a lot of different yeah, kinds Yeah, they showed them on TV last night, and they're actually um, filled with soybean oil, and it's... Um... Well, one is soybean, the other is balsamic <laughs> vinegar, and you just pour them right onto the salad. <laughs> You know, you put like some croutons in your butt and uh, you know, got stuff a nice sound. You know, I think there was something about that in the Star Report. Really? Yeah, there was something about tossing a salad in there. I think. <laughs> Certainly a lot of oil. I know that. Thursday on Love Line, the panel will try something new. Adam and Dr. Drew, Diane, and everybody else will answer questions about sex. I kid you not, questions about sex on television. Your television. Hey, my little soup kiddlies. Praise the Lord, Hollywood Squares is coming back to television. All right, all right, everybody calm down. Come on, take a seat. Whoopi Goldberg is producing the latest incarnation of this game show workhorse. She'll also occupy the center square. CBS This Morning's Mark McEwen has a date to appear on the show, and in this clip, he gets some pointers from fellow square Kathy Najimy. If I'm going to be a contestant or anyone's going to be on and they're calling on you, yeah. what should we watch to make sure either that you're trying to help us or, right. or mask the truth? Well, I do, I do little subtle things. Oh, like, I... if, it's, if it's a lie, I'll go like... <laughs> and then you'll know that that's, that's not. And if it's the truth, I'll, sir, I'll lift up my shirt. There you go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, I missed that. Fred, could you re-rack that rack? There you go. Oh, wow, I 
think I'm gonna like the new Hollywood Squares, huh? Let's get Charlie Sheen, Robert Downey Jr., and Heidi Fly so we can play Tic Tac Ho. <laughs> Big Bob Vila drops by uh, CBS this Thursday morning. He'll have uh, you on the edge of your seat with an inside look at Spackle. Time for mental talk about drywall, you know, standard VCR alert. Yeah, speaking of the spackle. We've reached our cruising altitude, and I'm coming around with a beverage. When I return, Sally Jesse takes up hooking, and Conan hears a curious tale about mother love. No, not, not uh, that mother love. They starred in one of TV's top-rated shows, but when the cameras stopped, their troubles began. He sued his parents. This business is not for kids. She committed bizarre crimes. The girl from Dickens Coast is robbing the store. And his drug habit cost him his freedom. And I've been in nine months of my life in jail. It's the exclusive story of three kids who hit it big, then hit rock bottom. The more drugs they did, the angrier it became. Different Strokes, this Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. The new RAV4. It's not for everyone. Only you. Break through the routine of everyday TV and discover a world of endless possibilities. Watch Showtime's free preview this weekend. See Hollywood hits no one else has, like Air Force One and The Game. And don't miss Showtime original pictures like The Inspectors. Plus, catch a world heavyweight title fight. Chappie Vander Holyfield versus Vaughn B. It's all on Showtime, and it's free this weekend. Free preview available with participating distributors only. Check local listings for details. Join E for your first look at Hollywood's newest film, Coming Attractions, Saturday at 1 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Now you can have your very own cellular phone absolutely free. Finally cell phone I can afford. No deposit, no credit check, no turndowns, just one great phone totally free. Now you can have the security and convenience of your own free cellular phone. This is definitely the way to go. With Quintel Cellular, there's no activation fee and your cellular phone is free. Now I'm back in business. Compact memory features. It has everything you need or want in your cellular phone. Call now and find out how you can get your very own Quintel cellular phone for free. There's no deposit, no credit check, no turndowns, no activation fee. Just one great phone, absolutely free. Call now. Call 1-800-604-6980. John, I just want to let you know I think your show is off the hinges. It's better than Fat Domino. Understands me? No, but I really appreciate your attempted communication. <laughs> hey, be honest. How many of you little soup puppies out there have had impure thoughts about Drew Barrymore, huh? Raise them up. Ooh, 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 wow, ooh, hey, that's a lot of hands. All right, now, how many of you have had those same thoughts about Drew's mom, Jane? Oh. Yeah, see, those hands are getting a rest now. Well, imagine how awkward actor Chris Eigeman felt. He had to perform a love scene with Drew's mom in the film The Last Days of Disco. Here he is telling Conan all about it. And in this case, it was the woman who was naked on top of me was Jade Barrymore, who's Drew's mom. And to me, that was just like me all over, to be under a starlet naked mother. <laughs> Which is like, you know, a miss is as good as a mile in a situation like that. But she was fantastic. What was she, she was liked, she comfortable? She was great. She totally mustered me through it like a soldier. She was fantastic. And she like, I was trying to be all like polite like a, and- Like a soldier. Like a <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like kind of trying to put my hands decorously on her body and she's like, you know, it works a lot better if you just hold on to my ass. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I, I was like that and she was on top of me. And then um, everything was going okay. And then we were about to roll. And she, I remember she put her breasts just like this here and the camera's over there. And suddenly like, I felt like a lost little boy in a supermarket. <laughs> I was like, all the oxygen went out of the room. I and know that feeling completely. And she looked down at me and she's like, 
you're not doing very well, are you? And I'm like, I'm panicking a little. Well, I guess Chris won't be getting a date with Drew anytime oh. soon. Hey, I shagged your mom. What are you doing Saturday night? Where are you going? Come back, Drew! Actor and country crooner Chris Christopherson converses with Conan come Thursday. Chris has a new film called A Soldier's Daughter Never Cries. Many years ago, Chris dated Janis Joplin. Janis is now dead. As The View enters its second season on ABC, Debbie Matinopoulos will unveil a weekly segment called Dare Debbie. Viewers are encouraged to write the show and dare the Debster to perform some feat of skill. In the first installment of Dare Debbie, the Deb Tondo races Rob Estes up an indoor climbing rock. Cue your eyeballs and action. Oh, hi, Debbie. Okay, do you have a dare for Debbie? Anybody oh, out there? How do I feel? I feel humiliated. I've been ripping no, up you were first dare. Oh, is it just me or did that clip have a little S and M subtext, yeah. huh? Uh, I think we're seeing a whole new side of the debonator. The debonatrix, if you will. Sure. Wearing a harness, cracking a whip, beating a man into submission. I think I like it. <laughs> Come Thursday on The View, lizard skin actor George Hamilton pays a visit. George is hawking a book called Life's Little Pleasures. You know George sleeps in a giant vat of aloe vera? Whoa, just a green? Yeah, it's good for the skin. I've got stuff on the other side of this commercial. Just stuff. <laughs> Stay with me and you'll see why Sally Jesse Raphael is working the corner. Hey, you need to develop your own style, but I always wait until somebody else makes the approach. Um, Stand here until he talks to me. Yeah. He's always original. I think things could get out of hand. He's always outlandish. Let's not talk about it on the air. <laughs> Let me see. Show me now. And now he's always on at 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Uh -oh. You got carried away. You're on the Howard Stern <laughs> Show. <laughs> get a good look at what you can't see on the radio. Twice a night, six nights a week. You guys will have something to look at. Chicks will have something to look at. It's perfect. Perfect mm -hmm. television programming. I know what I'm doing. The Howard Stern Show, tonight at 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Good afternoon, Heaven. Yeah, I'm being investigated for tax fraud. Oh, I'll put you right through, Senator. Heaven. I need 5,000 brochures printed by Monday. I'm sorry. We can't help you there. Need a printing miracle? Call Alpha Graphics. Está empatado, Baccarino avanza por el medio campo. Pasa para Garbaccio que busca un hombre sin marca. Buen pase para Lunetti. Uy, le cometen falta. Brea con la pelota, toca para Pérez. Avanza Pérez, la domina y busca el hueco. Amaga por izquierda, va por la derecha. Viene, viene, viene. Amaga por izquierda, otra vez Pate y viene, viene. Viene, viene. for action. My car! Somebody stop that car! My, my baby's in that car! Action finds him. It's a fight! We found him! Twister! Is that Twister coming? I have no idea! And holds on to him like something that holds on really, really tight. We're all gonna die! Buddy Lee is Buddy Lee in Buddy Lee, Man of Action. A Lee Dungarees production. Because there's a hundred little things to take care of in the morning, two of which are hungry. Introducing Kellogg's Breakfast Mates, a bowl of Kellogg's cereal, milk, and spoon all in one. It's one less thing to worry about. Make breakfast easier. Kellogg's Breakfast Mates in the refrigerated section.
because your kids' cartoons start at 5.30 a.m. and you don't. Introducing Kellogg's Breakfast Mates, a bowl of Kellogg's cereal, milk, and spoon all in one. So they can make breakfast anytime. Make breakfast easier. Kellogg's Breakfast Mates in the refrigerated section. Whoa! You're standing in evidence. Barney. Your deputy's name is Barney. This fall, meet a good guy with one bad habit. I'm Lester Long. Lester the, uh, molester. Vince Vaughn, Janine Garoppolo, and Joaquin Phoenix. Morning, Clay. You doing okay back there? You set me up. <laughs> Clay Pigeons. Barney, could you not poke the body with a stick, please? Rated R. Starts Friday, September 25th at Select Theater. Hungry Jack Biscuits now have the, mmm, delicious taste of cinnamon and sugar in every flaky layer. Mmm, you're a really good. Hungry Jack mm. Cinnamon and Sugar Biscuits. This portion of E is brought to you by Hungry Jack Waffles. Kids want more. We give you more. Welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm Link. Sally Jesse Raphael will do anything to educate the average American. Many of us wander through our gray lives wondering, what's it really like to be a hooker? Well, Sally heard the cry and said, how about if I dress up like a prostitute ski and find out? And then all of us said, well, how about if you don't? But it was too late. Oh. So, here Sally is on the corner with Dolores, her guide hoe. Sally, just a quick moment of eye contact mm -hmm. with us, right? right? That was all that we needed. In your mind, he's going to turn around and he's going to come back again. Well, he might. Okay. Or he might come back tomorrow night. Or he may... He may know we're here. Yeah. <laughs> That is the world's oldest profession, Tom, and it looks like Sally got the world's oldest professional to teach her. She is, she is the Mrs. Miyagi of prostitution. Wax yeah, on. wax on, wax, wax off. <laughs> A member of the Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan visits Sally on Thursday. Jan Ralston has seen the light and wants to quit the Klan. She'll explain her decision to fellow Klanners during this hour. Tomorrow, watch Jerry get jiggy with a he-she. Because I like being feminine. I like being a woman. I want to be a woman. She accepts it. She respects me. You can be a feminine man. Yeah, you could. Well, gang, every tavern has a closing time, and it's last call at this chuckle bar. I know you've had a lot to laugh, so please, smile carefully. Don't be afraid to use a designated frown. I'll see you again after the next sunrise. Bye-bye. Way.